Blake Gill monitors the neighborhood with a watchful eye. He knows what is going on in the backyards, behind the schools, and in the dark alleys of his quiet community. More and more teens are willing to trade sexual favors in exchange for booze, DVDs, clothes. That's right. It's an alarming new trend referred to as the new goodnight kiss. But hold on, says Blake Gill. I hate when people call it new or a trend. I mean, I was turning tricks for bunny hugs in at least them. the late 80s for sure. Sorry, what was that? Bunny hugs. Where I come from, Saskatchewan, people call hooded sweatshirts bunny hugs. I mean, you got a brown bunny hug, you got a gray bunny hug, you got a blue bunny hug, all sorts of kind, you know? So when you mention tricks, what exactly are you referring to? You know, pleasure jobs. I've pretty much done every job in the alphabet. H jobs, B jobs, A jobs. Threw my back out once doing a Q job. When asked to consider his youth, Blake is quick to pull out what he considers the trophies and rewards of jobs well done. A lot of memories tied up in a year. A lot of, a lot of afternoons behind the school or off behind the skater rink on a Saturday. Looking back now, are there any regrets that you have? I mean, what's life without a few regrets? We all have them. I've got a few for sure. Probably could have made a little more than I did. I mean, as I matured, grew more skilled, probably could have done better for myself. Do you mean getting a better financial return for your work? Yeah, I mean, I could have done a little better, but I shouldn't complain too much. I had a friend who used to he used to make barely a buck an hour delivering newspapers. You saw my bunny hugs. They're worth way more than that. I mean, this one here is when I first started out, and how to be honest, I wasn't really good at my craft, and I didn't even I didn't even get a hood on these kind of sweatshirts. With his high school days behind him, Blake often turns to gardening to fill his day. How do you respond to criticisms that this type of work is demeaning and really a violation of a person's humanity? Well, I have to answer that question with one of my own. I mean, you've got a job, right? You probably work for some inconsiderate boss who never shows you any gratitude. When I did a good job, I knew immediately from the results. And truly, in our capitalist society, aren't we all just exchanging services for some sort of return? I probably learned that lesson younger than anyone, from direct, hands-on experience. And then, I mean, once you started getting good, you get, like, people would embroider your name on it just for doing a good job, which, I mean, means a lot to someone. One time I even gave a hand job for a duck hunter game. Although considered by some to be the first symptom of a deeper sickness in our society, Blake Gill considers himself to be a pioneer of sorts, having forged a new trail to financial compensation. Whether this trend in team behavior continues is yet to be determined. However, Blake Gill will always be viewed as the man who opened the doors to a new good night. I mean, just a lot of work and a lot of memories, but these are things you go through as you grow up. For Channel 13, I'm Ted Wilkins.